All right, in today's video, I'm going to show you in a step-by-step -step procedure exactly how to convert your GY6 scooter. Now, the main advantage of full wave rectification is that you're going to get more power output. You're going to have the upper and lower part of the AC waveform converted into DC. As it is on most scooters, you have two wires coming off of your stator. We're going to get to that in a minute here. It's behind this fan. The two wires coming off of there are on the same winding. One is tapped in the middle of the winding, and the other one is at the upper part of the winding. And the very bottom of the winding is connected to ground. So if you test from the yellow wire to ground or the white wire to ground, you're going to see an AC output of around 20 or 30 volts each. Only one of those wires is used to convert to DC to charge your battery. The other wire remains alternating current, the yellow wire, and it supplies power to the headlamp assembly. Now the regulator also regulates that alternating current output to the headlight. So you have the regulator doing two jobs. One is charging the battery and the other is regulating the voltage to your headlamps. What I don't like is that I have my headlamps running on alternating current and I'm only using half of a wave to charge my battery. So what I'm going to do is modify the entire system. It's very simple to do, starting with the stator coil. We're also going to swap out the half wave rectifier, which is mounted by the steering column underneath the front cover behind the headlamps. Now the rectifier that you have, the little one that's mounted up front, that's going to have to be tossed out because you're going to need a full wave rectifier. You can either buy them online inexpensively or you can make one like I did. This one right here is extra heavy duty. I use a very large bridge rectifier. Any component on here that fails in the future, if it did fail, it is very easy for me to swap out individual components because I have all these parts rather than have to order a new one. So this is going to be a full wave rectifier. It's going to be used with the modified stator coil. We're also going to have to take the yellow wire by the steering column that goes to the headlamps. We're going to cut that wire and we're going to tie that onto the switch side of the ignition so when the key is on, the full wave rectifier will supply power to everything. So to get started, I'm going to remove this cover and I'm going to access the stator. Now I'm not going to show you this whole process again because I've done it several times in other videos so please refer to my GY6 video playlist and look for the one that mentions how to remove or replace your stator. Once I do that I'm going to come back and show you the stator removed and what has to be done to it. Alright you're looking at the stator I removed it from the engine but it's still wired up leave all the wires connected don't touch the pickup and don't touch the other wiring that's heading up to the harness. Right here this one pole is what sends the charge to your CDI. There's the red wire. Leave that alone. Your charging is coming off of these poles here. This is an eight pole stator. So what you're going to do, let me show you the schematic first. All right, so here is the winding, the seven remaining poles of the stator connected in series. If you measure the white wire, you get 0.47 ohms. That's from this point here to the top, you get that. And if you measure from the yellow to the ground, the bottom part of the winding, you get 0.35 ohms. So the headlight tap, the yellow, is a little higher up into the winding, probably somewhere around here. Now if we take a look here, right here is your yellow wire. You notice the wire from this pole and the wire from here go right to this point where the yellow is tapped. You're going to get a cutter, cut this clean right here. Cut the yellow wire off and leave these two connected together. Do not separate these. You'll have an open circuit in your stator. So make sure these two remain soldered together and just cut off the yellow. The yellow now is going to be routed around the stator. You see this ground wire? Right here it's going to this green wire leave the green solder to this little tab that goes to this ring don't touch that just cut off this enamel wire right before where it solders on the yellow is going to be reconnected soldered and heat shrink 
right on to this end right here. Once that's done, the project is complete. So you're basically just moving the center tap of the yellow to the end of the winding and removing the winding from ground. I'm going to do that and show you what it looks like when I'm finished. As you can see, I cut the yellow wire from this spot here, left everything intact. The yellow wire is going to be too short, so you're going to have to get another piece of wire to extend the short wire, solder the two together, and then apply two layers of heat shrink before you wind it around the stator and solder it to the other wire right here. As you can see, the stator is bolted back in tight. The yellow wire is routed behind each one of these poles so it does not interfere with the flywheel as it's spinning. The wire that was located right next to the ground wire where they were connected together, that has been cut and soldered to the yellow wire and the yellow wire is pushed out of the way. This is very rigid, it's not going to go anywhere. Once you've done this, put everything back and we're going to move on to the next step. Alright, we're now going inside the front compartment behind the headlight and right over here there's your steering column coming down and mounted on this plate in front of the steering column is your voltage regulator I have other electronics in here connected up that's just the ground wire there yours will not have that so we're going to take this bolt off remove the regulator but first of course you're going to unclip the harness right here squeeze and pull down like that I'm going to smash this one open because I want to look inside of it and then I want to take this connector and attach it to my new regulator. So let me take this out and we'll take a look at it. This is the half wave rectifier, half wave regulator and you can see I took the connector off of the old one on my scooter and soldered it onto mine. Now I'm going to reinstall this and then we're going to disconnect the yellow wire going to the headlights. All right, the last thing you're going to do before you plug in your new full wave rectifier, trace the yellow wire, this one here, all the way to the stator, and look for a spot where you see a tap with another yellow wire. Cut off that tap. That tap is what goes to your headlights. Take that wire, you're going to connect it to a switch, the other side of the switch, you then connect to battery positive. You'll have your headlights turn on and off of the switch, your scooter will then have a full wave rectifier and the headlights will be running on DC and you can turn them on and off at the switch. All right, I'm on, now I'm on the right side of the front of the scooter. All right, the connector straight back I'm pointing at, that connects to the bridge rectifier up there. I found where the yellow wire was tapped now it's hard to see but let me prop that up a little bit put a flashlight there for you alright right there I don't know if you can see that you can see the thick cable coming up from the bottom that's where the wire comes from the stator this cable right here goes to the regulator and you can see right there there's a tap right where the tap is you cut that wire and then you pull it all the way out where you can easily access it which is around here somewhere and then you tie that yellow wire to a switch and then your battery positive. So it's pretty simple. My location is by the fork on the right side, right where the harness is all wrapped up. It's right in there. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.